Hello everyone, uh, today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about my aquaponics system. So uh, I think we'll start here. This is my this is my shrimp environment and uh, there are local shrimp here. This is my little window so I can see what's going on in there. Maybe you can see a couple of them swimming around. There goes one. Um, one of the things that happens in here is that the uh, the shrimp live in the hyacinths and the salsa's pond also grows duckweed that I can feed to the, the fish and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll grab up a, one of the hyacinths there and you can see there's a little shrimp in there wiggling around and stuff and I'll take it over here to the fish tank put it in there and they'll uh, they'll pick away at that and uh, trim the roots off one of the things I'm experimenting with in the aquaponics system is this little floating marsh here and this is a habitat for other creatures. There's some shrimp living in here as well as uh, uh, it grows duckweed and uh, the theory being that uh, this uh, spills out the sides so little bits there's some that and uh, these are things that the fish can graze on occasionally there's one there, and it keeps them busy. I also have uh, uh, an aquatic plant here that produces oxygen and helps with the buffering and the filtering of the water. So this marsh part is getting a little overpopulated. So what I'll do is uh, I'll remove some of the, the hyacinth. Let's see if there's anything in there. Doesn't look like much. And I'll take this up to uh, this is one of my new tanks I'm working with. Uh, this is a crayfish tank. And I put the hyacinths in here. It's rather low light and they slowly decay. And the crayfish like to graze on the roots and uh, the decaying plant matter. You can see this one's all gnawed away by them. So that's a, a sustainable food source for these guys. And uh, last night, uh, my female, this is a new tank, it's small, I need to get more room for them, no, but she molted, and here is her shell, which is pretty cool, so she's quite a bit bigger and uh, a lot more colorful, she's right back there, I don't know if you can make her out very well, but she's eating right now, That's underneath the filter, she's down in there, this is another thing I'm working on, uh, the culture duckweed. I'm still working on this uh, all natural fertilization and this is food source for the fish. They they really uh, enjoy it. So uh, I think that's about all I will talk about for today and uh, I'll, we'll come back soon and talk about more of the uh, the plant production. Hopefully I'll have the uh, crayfish house all set up and running by then. Talk to you soon.